So if they pull two decent ultra rares, is, is, is this a signal to rescue me away from the amazing defenders? What's up guys and welcome back to another epic unboxing of the past. Yes, past Talos actually opened up this box before he moved. I mean, technically it's me, but you guys get the idea. But yeah, it was of course Amazing Defenders. And was it amazing? I guess past Talos will find out. Future Talos might already know the answers, but I'll let you decide in the comments. But yeah, guys, you know the drill. Press a like for luck, and I'll see you in the adverts for Ad Talos. <laughs> Peace. How epic. I guess it will depend how amazing this set is. You can tell how excited I am, <laughs> excited I am to open up part two of Amazing Defenders. But here we are finally at last recording the final part of Amazing Defenders to see how truly amazing or unamazing this set is. Now, last time we didn't really pull anything too fantastic, um, but there's still some high value cards in here. Obviously, they got pearly. The collector's rare at $115.47 as of this recording session. The second highest is my friend Pearly collector's rare at $82.22. Um, and just for, you know, for th th the top three anyway, the third one is the Rescue Ace Hydrant at co collector's rare, of course, at $80.26. So pretty much all the collector's rare is pretty much uh, decently valued. It's been a while since I, 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 I unboxed the first video, but I don't recall anything too fantastic in the first recording, but maybe we can at least pull a pearly out of this. Um, I, I have doubt to we'll pull a collector's rare, but you never know. You never know. We might pull something collector's rare worthy, um, but enough rambling guys. Let's just get into the second part. I can finally remove this box from my uh, my inventory if you will from the because I, I as you guys recall in uh, one of my videos uh, my last videos I'm, I'm mentioning that i am moving into a new location so i can't be holding on to some of these packs i need to start uh, you know removing them and uh unboxing them putting them away in my binders back there uh, but yeah it's it's time for them to go it's time for them to go but yeah uh, similar to like other sets kind of similar to this like for example um we got tactical masters and power of the elements it weren't it wasn't as hyped up as uh, these sets now maybe that's by design you always you, you don't always want like uh, amazing sets all the time i guess you, you have like kind of a filler set and this definitely fits the agenda of a filler set so there's seven cards so i think the the card trick for this one is uh two to the front i could be wrong i could be very very wrong but let's uh, let's do two to the front and see if that does anything for us. All right, let's do this. We have the card at Trooper. Uh, the Sacred Scrolls of the Gidsmik Legend. Hi, right, Bella. The Great uh, Mikanko uh, Ceremony, I think. The Rescue Ace Air Lifter. Now, we're looking for the Hydrant, the Collector's Rare, obviously, of this one. I'm not sure if there's a... Uh, uh, so I did the card trick wrong. Um, looks like there is no... Actually, it might be... So I did two to the front, so I guess four to the front. Okay. I'll remember that for next time. But uh, yeah, it's just a super rare. We'll look at that price in a moment. Uh, the Makanko Rivalry. And the hidden armory. So this one's super rare. I think it's the first time I've seen this one. At number 16. 23 cents. 23 cents. Bella, stop farting, please. <laughs> Don't worry, Bella. I'm, I'm gonna give you plenty of treats. Oh, her ears. Her ears moved. She likes the word treats. Alright, so go so four, two, three, and four. Let's see if that's the card trick. Uh, we have the Makanko Promise. I'm not sure if Makanko has been featured in other sets, but th there's definitely a heavy reliance of the Makanko uh, Kenko, maybe? <laughs> Purification Dance in this, uh, in this set here. The Sprite Blessing. The XC tri, uh, tri Tribal Rivals. Tribal Rifles. The Preparation of Rites. 
the arm protector dragon. Ooh, did I do the card trick right? Yeah, I did. All right, cool. So we have a super rare. Uh, also the first time I've seen this one, but uh, this is the Rescue Ace Fire Engine. And again, not super crazy. This is only 25 cents, 25 cents. So nothing amazing at all. I wonder why it's called Amazing Defenders when it's not really that amazing. I don't, I don't it, like it, it would make sense if there's like uh, maybe amazing in the name, like the, the uh, what was it called? The archetype or whatever. But even that is not there. So what's so amazing about Amazing Defenders? You let me know in the comments down below. Maybe it's an amazing meta deck or something. I don't know. Uh, double edge sword. The purely delicious of memory. The Gimzi Orochi, the Serpentron Sky Slasher. Yeah. The reinforcement of, of the army. The XC Import. The Piri Rerus map, I think. And we get a super rare. I think we pulled this one last time as well. The Nini, the Mirror, the Kanko. Very waifu like, very waifu. Uh, number 26. Zero attack and zero defense, apparently, but it might be a decent effect. This is 29 cents. Obviously, if you, if you want to read the effect, you're welcome to pause the video. But the fact it's only 26 cents as a collector. I really don't care about reading it. <laughs> is that bad? Is that bad? Like, do you guys even want me to read some of these cards? Like, uh, let me know. Like, only read the ultra rares or only read the... I don't know. Something. I mean, more of the high value ones, I guess, is what I'm thinking to read off. But if it's something that's not uh, high value, there's probably a reason why it's not high value. What's up guys, Ad Talos here. Yes, with a sponsor for today's video, our boys from Ultra Pro. Yes, these guys have amazing binders. Check out this guy opening his cards. Check out this guy putting his cards in this binder. This nine slot side loading binders. Check out this guy protecting his vestment and that could be you. Check out the video link of course. Corny I know, but protecting your vestment is never corny. But yeah, seriously guys, definitely check out that feel like it does help for the show every single week getting videos like this. And of course, enjoying the epicness of pack opening, whether it be Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. But nevertheless, back to the past Talos and some more epic unboxings. I'm not sure that was four already. Yeah, it has to be. Okay. Uh, the Gipsney, uh, Gyps, wait, Zip, 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 Mac. Uh, Makanaki, the Sunrise Signor. I don't know, how do you pronounce that first word, guys? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being weird on all that. Pressure because I'm recording myself. We have the Machine Duplication. The Pure Yeep. The E Pearly Happiness. The Rescue Ace Fire Attacker. We have been contained! Contained! And we have a super rare. I think we pulled this last time as well. Uh, the X Pearly Noir. I think it was actually, for a super rare, I think it was decently high value. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look. We'll take a look. Okay, actually, the uh, collector's rare version is what we're looking for. That one is like 75 bucks, but the super rare version, 22 cents. 22 cents. All right, next pack. Yeah, life so well behaved. If you're wondering where Bash is, uh, he, he, he didn't want to be on camera. I, I don't know what it was, but he was like, Hail nah, he said, Hail nah. Um, Sorvis, the ancient and ascended. Not just ascended, but also ancient. The XC Reborn. Makanko Karuga. Extinguish the infer uh, inform uh, inform noble <laughs> inform noble arms, Durandal. I think 
uh, purely happy memory. And we have another super rare here. One for one. All right, this one, Bolte. Ooh, this is actually decent for super rare. 71 cents, so that definitely is nice. Now, there is a collector's rare version of this one at $47. But for super rare, actually not that shabby. Not that shabby. Yeah, for some reason, I wasn't really su super excited about opening these sets. I don't know why. Uh, but, but then again, we had a bunch of other stuff that came out, especially stuff from the Pokemon side as well. The 20th anniversary stuff. I was also traveling a lot. Uh, so it wasn't something that like was in the back of my mind. So I kind of just didn't didn't have time to really do that. It took a lot of like old sets that we could do for a future video. Um, we have Sprite Blessing. The Limited Remover. Double-edged sword makes a return. The Ancient Ascendant makes a return. So already a lot of duplicates already. The Rescue Ace Headquarters. And the Spray Pearly Streets. And another super rare, the Inform Noble. Um, Renald, I think. Looks kind of cool. Fire type there. Warrior Fire. 38. Super rare. Wow. Okay. So this is actually a decent super rare. Um, a dollar and 13 cents for this one. Now, if you have the collector's rare version of this, $53. So, but for super rare, that's pretty high. It's pretty high. That's the highest so far. I guess that's better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. Something that I want to do as well eventually is uh, start uh, opening some earlier packs from like, I don't know, uh, 2019, 2018, 2020, because uh, I, I pretty much started getting into the um, unboxing stuff and uh, like recording my unboxings and uh, getting back into the Yu-Gi-Oh side of the house. Um, I think it was like late 2020, um, but I definitely want to record some more of the earlier stuff from 2020 as well as, you know, prior to that. Uh, I'm not sure about getting like old cars like 2002, 2005 or actually no. Yeah, the, the, those earlier sets, because those can be pretty expensive, especially if I want to get a first edition. Um, I don't really plan on getting a lot of unlimited cards. I want, I, I'm gonna try to get more of the first edition because that's what this channel's all about, is uh, being collector. And obviously as a collector, you want first edition. We have this card, the card something. We have this card, <laughs> card trooper. Uh, it probably happens, we saw this one already. And I did the card trick wrong, god dang it. We'll put that later. I, I thought I did four, but maybe I did eight by a mistake. I don't know. The Reflection Rondo. We saw this one. The Giant Makanko Ceremony. The Machine Duplication. And we get our first Ultra Rare of today, known as Rescue, Rescue, Rescue. What if there's a card that just like repeats itself like 8,000 8, times? There probably is a card like that. All right, decent. Finally, our first good pull for, for the day. $3.09. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right. That was pretty amazing. It was decently amazing. Decently amazing. All right. Can we pull another Ultra Rare? Maybe even potentially a Collector's Rare? I don't know, man. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. But this is not food. We have the um, Yids Mick. The oh yeah, Sky Slasher. We saw this one oh, as well earlier. The Karuga, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take ya. The delicious memory of Jamaica. Um, the promise of Jamaica. I'm just kidding. Uh, another happy. What was there two happy memories? Oh no no okay. Delicious memory and then happy memory. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, was there two of the same cards in the same pack? Um, the pearly map. And then we have a super rare of the expertly happiness. I think we pulled this one already, didn't we? Maybe it was part one that we did. Number 17, 17 cents. Collector's rare version of this is at the $20.40, but this was only 17 cents. 
All right, how many packs do we got? We got four more packs to go. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what, what earlier sets I want to get, but uh, I've been really getting into the uh, Legendary Duelist sets. Um, so I kind of want to get potentially the um, the Ancient um, Millennium, the Pegasus one, and probably the very first one from uh, from Joey Wheeler. Um, but uh, some of those are pretty expensive. They're like, you know, high 300s, high 500s for some of those. Extinguish. So we'll see if I, I'll, be able, I'll, I'll be able to get my hands on it, especially first edition. Like, like I say, if it's not first edition, it's not worth my time. Um, uh, machine duplication. I would love to get a first edition um, Blue Eyes, Legendary Blue Eyes, uh, back in the uh, 2002 sets, but uh, I don't think I can afford that. At least not in my earlier channel. Like, uh, uh, maybe we'll wait for a channel to get a little bigger. We can probably potentially afford it. But they're super, super expensive. All right, the map. And we have a super rare here, the Expertly Beauty. Beauty and the Beast. Uh, 22 cents for this one. There is no collector's rare version of that. Let's do this. One, two, three, and a four. All right. Uh, Pearly Heap again. The reinforcements of the army. Makanko Purification Dance. The Makanko Rivalry. DXC Import. The Great Makanko Ceremony. And this one looks very different. Actually, it looks very cool, actually. The Makanko Fire Dance. Only because I love fire. I love fire. Um, so this is the first time I saw that one. Number 30, 16 cents for this one. 16 cents. Not too shabby. Well, I mean, price-wise, kind of shabby, but th the design looks pretty cool. All right, two packs. Are we only going to get one ultra rare this this pull session? This is why this is like the opposite of amazing. This is almost like the amazing, the amazing. We have the sacred scrolls of the Gizmic legend. I think it's Gizmic. I think I pronounced it. DXC tribal rivals. Wow, okay. Um, for some reason, the, the um, whatever the um, card is, like if, if, you, if you do a card trick with the with a certain card, like if it's like a higher rarity, for some reason they pop up earlier. But uh, but yeah, whatever. The Pearly Delicious Memory again. We have the Air Lifter. You'll see what that card is when I, when I get to it. Um, we saw this one earlier. We have the Ancient and Ascended, and this is why I wasn't super excited about it because we just pulled this one. <laughs> Another ultra rare, but this one is Rescue again. Literally, we pulled two rescues. Is, is, is this like a signal to rescue me away from the Amazing Defenders because it's not amazing at all? I mean, it, it, it's decently priced, but why am I getting the same ultra rare? in the same freaking pack like obviously i got it from a booster box so it wasn't like a individual pack whatever but that's uh kind of kind of kind of setting a little bit all right so final pack guys you know the drill press a like for luck we definitely need the luck because so uh, we're not getting anything great from this set uh card trooper and another reason why i was not very very excited to uh actually open this set but it's kind of building up dust so might as well open it the reflection rando the rolling the rescue ace headquarters the pearly uh, streets and the final card guys is a super rare the um I sold two tails of the Noble Knight. Looks cool. Looks kind of cool, but again, probably not worth too much. 52. 52. Actually, for a super rare, decent. Decent. Uh, 51 cents. So, if it's for us in this channel, if it's above 50 cents for a super rare, that that's sleeve worthy in our books. But, wow, what a... 
<laughs> not gonna lie what a crappy pull session today but i was not really expecting too much from this set we did pull two decent ultra rares um i guess since we pulled it twice let's see what it, this card reads uh this card is always treated as a rescue ace card target one rescue ace monster in your graveyard or if you control a rescue ace hydrant you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard instead it's decent uh, special summon it to your field you can also only activate one rescue per turn all right so i mean it's decent it's decent but definitely not uh, the greatest post which is probably why i held it off for so long but we finally got rid of this box it was like I said, collecting dust, guys. It was collecting dust. I gotta go because Bella is uh, is kind of like growling at me because she wants to, she wants food. Look, 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 look at that face. Look at that face. N now, now you're being shy. You don't want to growl anymore. <laughs> but yeah, guys, back to present Talos. And of course, was an epic. I don't know. I guess you you decide. There's still some epic cards that could, potentially could be there. You know, we're, we're talking sixty dollars cards that are still awaiting to be unraveled in the pack openings. But I guess we'll find out if you guys want to see more of Amazing Defenders. They're pretty cheap to buy, at least, at least like a year later. So maybe, maybe, I don't know if I'm feeling froggy. And there's like, I don't know, nothing else to open, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys want to see some more epic openings, definitely check out this video right over here where we did Terminal Revenge with my son. That was also pretty epic as well. We pulled some pretty good cards as well so definitely check that out you might be surprised what we pull in that video but nevertheless my name is talos so see you next time peace